Hi, I'm Paul Walia, and I'm a product manager at Equinix focused on our IBX Marview product line. IBX Marview is a DCIM or data center infrastructure management SaaS application providing necessary, up to date environmental and power draw information. It also provides current and historical electrical and mechanical plant operating data. In this video, I'm going to walk you through power draw reporting within IBX Marview. Power draw reporting provides current and historical power usage data in a self serviceable, on demand way to a cage, cabinet, or circuit level. Power reports can be configured to show highly summarized daily cage level reports or very detailed high fidelity circuit level readings. These reports include primary and redundant KVA draw, as well as your draw to draw cap ratio, enabling you to track progress as your power draw starts to approach your contractual limits. From IBX SmartView homepage, you can click the reports button in the header navigation, which will load the reports page. From here, you can click the create report button. Once clicked, a create report modal appears with a series of selections to configure your report. Start with accounts and select the account for which you want your power usage. Now select power draw from the category dropdown. Now select the IBX the cage is located in. Once you have selected your IBX, a dropdown will appear with a list of your cages in that IBX. Here you can expand your cages to reveal cabinets and expand further to reveal circuits in those cabinets. This component allows you to select cages, cabinets, or circuits you want included in your report, or you can just select all, which will allow you to create a report on all cages, all cabinets, or all circuits. Once you have completed your asset selections, open the report type dropdown and select the report level you're looking for. It can be either cage, cabinet, or circuit. If you select cage, your report will have cage level data. This means Every row in the resulting CSV file will be one cage level reading at one timestamp. Cage level reports will be your most summarized views. If you select cabinet, your report will have cabinet level data. If you select circuit, your report will have circuit level data. Similarly, every row in the resulting CSV file will be one circuit at one timestamp. Circuit level reports are the most detailed power reports in IBX SmartView. Now select the time span you're looking for, for power usage. The predefined options are past 24 hours, past seven days, past 30 days, or you can select custom date. Custom date allows you to select your own preferred date range using a date picker. Next, you will need to select the level of data granularity from the data capture interval dropdown. The options here are recording interval, one hour or 24 hours. Recording interval is the lowest level of granularity and will show readings at 15 minute intervals in AMER and EMEA region IBXs, and will show readings at five minute intervals in APAC IBXs. One hour will provide hourly level data granularity in the report. 24 hours will provide daily level granularity in the report. Next, you need to give the report a name, which will be used to identify the report in IBX SmartView and will be the downloaded file's name. Once you have completed configuring the report, there are a few more options. You can click Generate Report to generate and download it now. You can also decide to make this a recurring report. By setting a recurrence on the report, IBX SmartView will generate the report you just configured on a regular schedule and then email you to let you know the report is available for download. Making a report recurrence selection will prompt you to enter one or more email addresses. Click Save Report Recurrence Template button to finish. Lastly, you can choose to save this report configuration as a template, allowing you to run a report with one click in the future. This option can be helpful if there is a report configuration that you use repeatedly and need to generate that report on demand as and when you need it. In this case, I need to generate this report now. So I will proceed by clicking the Generate Report button. The modal closes, and I'm navigated to the recently generated tab of the reports page. Here, the report is being created, and I can check the status by clicking the Refresh link. Once the report is ready for download, the in-progress status changes to Today. 
I can now hover over the report name and click to start downloading. Once my file has completed downloading, I can open it to review my power usage. So now I've opened up my PowerDraw report. I see several columns here. The first column is date and time, which is the actual timestamp for that specific reading for that specific circuit. Cage indicates the cage ID. Cabinet is the cage ID also with the cabinet number. Serial number is the circuit serial number ID. Asset description gives brief description about the circuit itself, the amperage, the volts, and what phase it is. Type column has primary redundant. Then there's draw amperage at that timestamp, draw KVA at that timestamp, the sold amperage for that circuit, usable KVA for that particular circuit, and then your draw to usable KVA percentage. So this indicates your total draw over your usable KVA as a percentage, so you know what percentage of power usage you're pulling at that particular circuit at that given time. This concludes my demo for PowerDraw reporting, and thank you for watching.